Hello beautiful and welcome back. Uh, today I have another wig for you today. Um, we're doing another unboxing. This particular one is from Hairdo. Hairdo. And uh, it is called Wave It Off. Uh, and the color is chestnut. So let's take a look and see what she looks like. When I think of hairdo, I always think of like like multicolored wigs, like the pinks and the purples and the greens. I don't know why. I've just always associated them with a lot more funkier colors. But they do actually have quite a few uh, uh, colors out there that are more natural. So if you're not really into all the crazy colors, don't count hairdo out. They are definitely a uh, less expensive brand. Uh, they don't usually come with as many frills as some of the more expensive ones, but I don't really mind them. They actually have a uh, pretty good hair texture that I, I do like. Sorry, I'm really struggling <laughs> with this tag. I got it. Um, they do have some really nice hair texture as well. Um, so if you don't mind a more basic cap and something that's you know a little bit uh, less on the luxury side, then Hairdo could really be a great brand for you. All right, so right out of the box, this is what she looks like. This is the chestnut color. Um, looks like a warmer brown in their particular colors. Um, it's not dark. It's definitely more of a lighter brown. Um, and then it's just warm. It doesn't have any type of monofilament or, or lace or anything. This is a basic cap construction. Uh, so let me go ahead and show you the inside. So for a basic cap construction wig, uh, you do get an open and wefted cap design. Your, you do have some felt, which I love. I'm so glad they're starting to do more and more of this. Felt at the hairline, which is very comfortable. If you don't have a strong hairline here, it is a lot more comfortable for you. Um, and then we have uh, open ear tabs. Open ear tabs, I always point them out when a wig comes with open ear tabs because they are more rare. So open ear tabs are really cool because your glasses can usually fit through them. This particular one is a little small uh, for the opening, but I bet I could still fit some glasses through there if I needed to. All right, so since it is a basic cap, we, with our basic caps, are always going to shake them out and try to loosen up any of the permatease that is there and allow the hair to just sit on top. It also sometimes gets out any type of a zigzag part. This one did have a little bit of a zigzag going on. I really don't want a zigzag part in there, but I also want to make sure that it doesn't show there we go any permatees which it's really not it's actually pretty good this is the top focus little tiny bit of permatees right up in this area but for the most part it's actually pretty light let's put her on and see what we have very stretchy cap right out of the gate do appreciate that oh my let me see if i can find my face again just giving her a quick comb out, seeing if I can find my eyeballs. It's harder than it looks sometimes. I don't know, maybe it looks appropriately hard. All right, so we've got some cute little flippy doos right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and like help them to do their thing. This is a really, actually a pretty cute style. I kind of wish it had, I wish it had a full bang. Not gonna lie. Um, if it had a full bang, I feel like I'd feel a little bit more comfortable in it because there's no there's no lace front there. But honestly, it's not bad. I'd probably, you know what? I would just cut a full bang in it. That's what I would do. So all of this here would become bang and it would just have a cute little bang going straight across the front. Um, I definitely recommend that for this particular wig if you can do bangs, just because, I mean, they're not really, they're not doing a whole lot for me personally. Now, if you can rock the side bang all day long, by all means, because this is what it looks like. Not a bad one, honestly. You can't really see the lace, the lack of lace front unless I do that. So for the most part, it's fine, but I'm not somebody who particularly likes how I look in a side bang like this. I either want it completely gone or I want a bang personally. So it's the only part that's really bothering me. The rest of this, this isn't bad. This isn't bad at all. 
I think it's actually a really cute style. I'm just helping it to flip out a little bit. It's a little box crimped. But for the most part, this could be a fun everyday driver wig. It just needs a little bit of TLC there. What if I, what if I put you on the other side? Are you gonna give me problems with that? Probably. Oh yeah, that doesn't look good. Doesn't look good at all. Okay. We're gonna go with how it wanted to fall. Just like that. All right, so let's do a 360 so you can take a look and see what she looks like on all sides. Right, so let's take a look at the specs. So it is heat friendly, it's up to 350 degrees. So if you were having some trouble with some of these, you could just use a curling iron on these. You could actually straighten it out and get rid of the wave if you want, but it's called wave it off. Why would you get rid of your waves? Um, cap size, cap size is average. Um, it definitely it came a little bit cinched in for me, so it's a little bit tighter than average on me, but it could be loosened. Um, the front is 6.5 inches so yeah definitely meant to be a side bang but again you can always cut bangs in any wig that you want um, especially if they're heat friendly it's a cinch to get these guys to behave and do what you want them to do um, by just giving them a little bit of a haircut uh so the front of 6.5 inches the crown is 9.5 uh, the back is also 9.5 and the nape is 5.5 love 0.5s um, it only weighs 3.7 ounces, so very light. Uh, I really do enjoy how light this wig is. They're great for summer, uh, especially when they're up off, completely off of the shoulder. That's really great if you're gonna go sleeveless. Fantastic. But yeah, overall, I think that this turned out to be a pretty cute wig. It would need just a little bit of adjustments for me personally. Maybe I'll just do that. Maybe I'll just cut some cute little bangs in it and show you guys what it looks like. I don't know, Let's, we'll see. Uh, in the meantime, if you want to pick up Wave It Off by Hairdo in any of the gorgeous colors that just come in, you can head on over to Wig Studio One. Uh, there, make sure you're looking for a flash sale. If one exists for this wig, it will be listed right at the top, and that'll help you to save a little bit of money. Um, you don't have to choose any type of coupon codes or anything like that. If it says flash sale, then you'll save some money. Also, while you're online, we have a support group that's called Wig Studio One Wig and Topper Support Group. Uh, you'll find myself and the ladies of Wig Studio One, as well as thousands of other ladies that are there to help support you in your hair loss journey. As always, make sure you leave a comment below if you have any questions, and please click that subscribe button if you have not done so already. I make tons of content just like this, as well as guide videos as well. All right, until next time, Bye-bye, beautiful.